This one's gonna be a good episode. There are a ton of work in progress mods that are really high quality. And in this video, I'm gonna show you all of them. If you guys don't know, this is Upcoming Mods, a series where I show you some work in progress mods by different members of the Fallout modding community. I mean, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory, right? Kicking things off, we have the next new project by Hyper and Co, and that's going to be the G36C. A very iconic weapon, one you have probably played with in a numerous amount of video games, whether it be Rainbow Six Siege, Call of Duty 4, the list goes on and on. Regardless, as you can see, its implementation in Fallout 4 is going to be taking advantage of the weapon customization system pretty extensively. So much so, in fact, that these are technically not both the G36C. One is the G36C, that's the compact version, while the other one is going to be the heavier kind of LMG style variant. Well, these look extremely high quality. I'm quite excited for this. This is a gun that even the real world variant has a surprising amount of customizability. Obviously, you do have the compact and heavy machine gun variant, but also just a normal assault rifle style. All these are pretty widely used and something that we're probably going to see in game, as you could tell by these images. All around, these guys have been producing a amazing amount of content, and this all while maintaining a pretty high level of quality, which is pretty astounding. It seems like with each new release, the quality bar is just being set higher and higher, and it really seems like this this one's going to be no exception. So we have another update to the Militarized Minutemen. This is going to be a work in progress mod by Corvalho1. I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong. Regardless, we got some work in progress images of this a while ago. This is the same mod also that made the AN94 as well as the Widow Shotgun. Two really cool weapon mods, but again, now he is coming back and militarizing the Minutemen, giving them more of a tactical feel, making it seem like they are an actual military, similar to how the NCR was in Fallout New Vegas. This is the first image we are getting of the actual textures and a lot of the detailing on the characters themselves. It's looking really good. I've been wanting a mod like this for quite a while. There's a few variants out there right now, but nothing on the same quality level as this one. So we have a massive update coming to Raider Overhaul. It's a really popular mod, a really content heavy mod already, as you can guess, overhauling the Raiders in vanilla Fallout 4. But even further, what this update is going to bring is a ton of new content to that mod. Third Storm and the rest of the team behind Raider Overhaul have been working on this for over a year. They also say it's 10 times the size of the previous update. And it definitely shows. What you're seeing in the background right now is some of the options available in this latest update. They also mentioned how everything's going to be totally modular. So if if you actually look at some of these different armor pieces that are added in, you'll notice a few things. One, some are vanilla. Basically, one aspect of this new update is going to be taking some of those vanilla armor pieces and adding in new methods of customizability to them. But even further, some of this is adding in multiple layers of customizability. So you could add in those different textures or just add in some of the different attachments to the helmets. You can pick and choose between which of these you do want and which of these you don't want. But even further, it is adding in some totally custom things that are pretty outlandish that are obviously going to be appearing on of Raiders. All this seems extremely fitting into the game, and honestly, there is just a ton of content here. I don't have enough video to show you everything, so definitely click on the Nexus link down below because there's actually a lot of images, and all of it is looking amazing. Really an awesome job by all these guys here overhauling the Raiders as they are probably one of the most abundant factions you will come into encounter in Fallout 4, and now having this mass amount of customizability and variability is going to be pretty awesome to experience. So we have the Venom Battle Dress. This is going to be by Kionohi, I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong, by the people that made the environmental armor. The Venom Battle Dress is going to be a piece of armor from the Metal Gear Solid series of games, obviously now being ported over into Fallout 4. There's been a ton of stuff from Metal Gear Solid ported over to Fallout 4, but this actually looks like it's going to be one of the cooler pieces of armor we have gotten. As you can see, there's going to be a ton of details on this, as well as it actually looks like it's going to be fairly well protecting. Obviously, armor pieces give you that increased defensive rating, although some of them don't really look like they could justify the amount of defense they are adding. This one definitely is going to be an exception. It seems like you have a lot of steel plating all over your body, as well as some Kevlar and different mesh that, of course, is going to be bulletproof. All around, it's looking really cool. We could see two of the different customizability options right here, although I imagine there'll be even more on release. Then we have the Militia Rifle. More or less, what this is going to be is a rifle that someone just kind of built from the ground up in one week. Considered a proof of concept more than anything else. The monitor here does mention that although all the work you are seeing in his background video, which I will have linked down below along with his channel, he is going to be finishing some of the aspects of this mod. All around, it looks really cool. It seems like there's a lot of customizability with this one. It actually reminds me of the Assault Rifle in Fallout 4, maybe a better version of the Assault Rifle, because the default Assault Rifle kind of sucks. But I do really like how he is taking advantage of that customization system. It seems pretty cool. I really do hope this gets released. As of right now, the mod author really only posted this video, so I do encourage you guys to check it out, give it attention so he feels more encouraged to actually release this as a fully-fledged mod. 
So then next we have an update to the LAER or the Lear, one of the weapons appearing in the Fallout New Vegas DLC, Old World Blues. As you can see, it's going to be a new energy weapon that's going to be done by the Rizzler and it's going to be a pretty massive improvement over what we had in Fallout New Vegas. One of the visuals, obviously Fallout 4 using that updated version of the engine and this is definitely taking advantage of that. But even further, as you can see, this gun is going to have a ton of customizability, including a custom scope and reticle, which is looking really freaking cool. I do hope you support see-through combat at scopes but for the time being that just looks really cool he just mentioned how it's going to be animated in the final version just all around this gun is looking really badass and very unique it looks distinctively fallout naturally as it is from a fallout but at the same time it just looks cool and badass the way this gun is going to work is it's going to be mostly powerful against robots but even further rather than having just two times damage when you do land a critical hit it's actually going to temporarily paralyze your foe so the kind of short circuit or shut down this is another one where i don't have enough room to show you all the images so there'll be more on on Nexus down below. I encourage you to click on that link and check them out because this gun is looking really badass and it's something I'm personally really excited for. This and even some of the other projects the Rizzler is currently working on are really proving to be unique and cool interpretations of just different weapons whether from the real world or real world inspired or previous fallouts. I really enjoy how he puts his own twist on them, gives them a little bit of backstory and just rather than trying to copy what other games have done with video games, you know, kind of adds his own touch, his own little bit of flavor. I think without a doubt that's going to be shown here from these images and hopefully we'll get this weapon shortly. That's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video. Let me know in the comments down below, out of what I showed you, what is your favorite? Mine is obviously going to be this last, the LAER or the Lear. I do hope to see each and every one of you next time. You could find that out by hitting the little bell. You'll get notified of this the next time I release an episode. But yeah, see you guys all later. Bye.